I'll probably try it out. Yeah, I'm on that sim right now. Oh, there's no controllers on. Ah. Are you on the east coast or west coast? Uh, I'm I'm flying from Portland and Oregon to Memphis, and I have like 50 minutes left. Okay. It's like a three-hour flight. I have my name tags. I've already had two CTDs. And I just had to <laughs> slew up into the cruising altitude. Yeah, it's just like me and uh, I got to Advil. Yeah, while well, you while well, you were there, I got mm. to Advil uh, to on final for Turks and Caicos, and then CTD. Try to start it up again, CTD, CTD. Hopefully the 737 and A310 will have autosave in them. Let yeah. Explain. Where, where in Discord is the flight plan? Uh, in the uh, events channel, so uh, just two channels up from, from here. It's that thing that says VFR, no, no. <laughs> VFR? I don't know. So, no. no, VFR Moscow landmarks plan. Oh, so, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. Okay. Then you have to click on it and download it. Um, Corey. Hey, Lars, how's it going? Are you uh, joining, Lars? I got UTA 573. Live traffic. Yeah, I'm actually not seeing that channel. Is it like two channels above or? Oh, uh, yeah. You know what? <laughs> Just Sorry, second. I'm not, I'm not, here, I'm not here, trying here. to be a pain. No, no, no. He, he, it's because here, I'll, I'm just going to move you up to uh, Colonel. Then you'll be able to see it now. You should see it now. Ah, uh, yes. No, <laughs> Perfect. Thank you so much. Uh, Patrick, hi. How's it going? Uh, Lars, uh, so the, no, not, uh, not tonight. Okay. I'm just gonna wait for, uh, for Corey. I think I'm gonna just fork over the flight plan and just follow you guys, but I'm gonna go ahead and load up. Yeah, yeah, I'll wait for you because there's really n no one else around right now. Which airport are you taking off of, though? Uh, it's, uh, yeah, umbrella, uh, uniform, uniform, uh, whiskey, whiskey. Perfect, thank you. Uh, but, yeah, if you put that flight plane in, it'll do all that, and it'll actually put you right to the, uh, to the runway. Okay, so, uh, uh next question, I, I, I've flown a lot of flight simulators, but I'm still new to, like, doing my own flight plans and uh, this new simulator. Where do I put the PLN file? Uh, the PLN on the on the bottom, you should see uh, save or load. Yeah, load save. Where, oh, okay. You, it's that simple. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's that simple. Then what I normally use is like for uh, general aviation, I'll have a little nav uh, map. Uh, it, it's it's like a free. Uh, free application that does all like you can uh, plan out a, a flight like that and it's like I do it very simple like you can get complex you can do IFR stuff on here but IFR I use uh, Navigraph because then SimBrief then goes into Navigraph and then that goes into my uh, airline uh, planes but uh, for GA flying Little nav maps, uh, free and easy to use. And then I'm on the uh, East USA server.
And what do you have for time of day? Uh, time of the day, I've got uh, 8 o'clock in the morning, because live time, uh, it's, time. Yeah, it's night time. Uh, and you can go with live weather, it's, it's actually, uh, it's like high clouds, so you're fine. Alright, well, I'm loading in right now. Okay, yeah, because if you ever want to during the flight, you can always change that. You can always change it to, like, clear skies or whatever you want. Right. Thanks for showing me the uh, PLN uh, uh, file too. Yeah, yeah, no problem. You're not a uh, couch pilot? What do you mean? Oh, no, no, no. no. Okay. So I was going to say he's in a Boeing uh, 748. Uh, I think he's uh, going to have a hard time. <laughs> And yeah, so the, like this flight uh, tonight, it's like 45 minutes to an hour max. Like it's okay. just uh, going around, uh, going around the city. But it, it is, uh, it, it's quite expansive. And um, I think the, there's like seven airports in the area. It's like just in the metro area. Quite a few. Yeah. All right, you, you should see me. Uh, uh yeah, Spiggy. yeah, Spiggy. Okay. Yep. All right, I'll. Uh... Give, give me a second just to configure the aircraft. Okay, and I'm uh, actually gonna change my control, my gear quadrants on uh, on a dual engine. Oh. Uh... Uh, that should be good. Oh, it's bad. Wow, salut, salut, comment ça va? Oui, ça va bien. <laughs> Uh, we're, we're here in uh, Moscow, gonna go take a look at some uh, landmarks in just a couple minutes. Just waiting for my spad to spad next, so I can use the, uh... uh so I can use the autopilot, uh, the, the multi-panel switch. Uh... Oh yeah, shoot. Because for some reason my stream deck isn't working. Yeah, so this is gonna work. Uh, and it, if you if you do go on autopilot, I would just keep it uh, keep it like uh, anywhere from like fifteen hundred to four thousand feet. Anything higher, like you you're not gonna ever gonna see much. Ah, oh, nice. Uh, I'm absolutely exhausted right now. <laughs> Just finished my CTP. Ah, oh, nice. Oh, yeah, I crossed the pond flight. But were you uh, controlling or, or flying? Let's go back to external. I'll uh, come on over. Yeah, flaps are working. All right, I think I'm almost ready. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna come over. Yeah, this is. Uh, 2-4. Yep. Yeah, we can always take off, and then and we just got to, uh, go, go back. Because I had it, uh, set to take off from, uh, zero one. 
Oh, that's fine. Oh yeah, that's fine. We'll just pick a left hand turn. Yeah. I was flying as a secondary, basically. I didn't get a slot, so I was at flight level two, two seven zero. Oh wow. That's you in front of me, I assume. Yeah. Yeah, that's me. Okay. All right. Go ahead and take off. I'll be right behind you. Okay. Yeah, because I. Uh, yeah, it's just just the two of us, and then the uh, and then people watching on the stream. Looks like you're going to the right. Oh yeah, yeah. going to the right, yep. Yeah. What's going on in the cockpit? Because yeah, you're a little low well right now. Yeah. <laughs> uh... Do you fly the track IR? Uh, no. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's because my my uh, vertical speed wasn't on. Oh, gotcha. I'm just gonna hand fly the whole thing. It's beautiful. Yeah. What altitude are you going up to? Uh, two thousand five hundred. But uh, okay. I. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, the clouds are a little low here, so I'm actually gonna take it off live weather. And I don't, I don't really like clear skies because then it's like, uh, yeah, then the sky is like, like it looks so fake. Right. But, so then I, I just put like few clouds and then I uh, the clouds are way up so they're not going to be anywhere in my uh, line of sight. But if you look around here, uh, what I've noticed, e even without the Drizwaki uh, design uh, DLC, like the landmarks, you'll see the how there's... There's a lot of like the te what tenements or like a big massive apartment buildings, and not a lot yeah, of yeah. not a lot of houses. It's just like uh, like from a, from communism and stuff. People pretty much in apartment buildings. But then when when we get up to the to the uh, airport, are we gonna do a touch and go? Up, so like once you get in the countryside, that's where you're gonna start seeing houses versus the big apartment buildings. Gotcha. Yeah, I know it's beautiful up here right now. Mm And so, yeah, Moscow is is the biggest uh, biggest metropolitan city in Europe. Uh, really? Yeah. Maybe maybe that's why I'm uh, lagging and having poor frame rate. <laughs> yeah, probably. Um, 
and it might it might be photogrammetry here no I, no I don't think it's photogrammetry here because or else you'd see like a, a dark type of uh, building right no I think I changed something in my settings I need to update but here you've got uh, uh, within the city limits it's a population of 12.4 million Wow over 17 million residents in the urban area and over 20 million residents in the whole me metropolitan uh, area and it's also the largest metropolitan by uh, by land space in all of Europe that's crazy I didn't realize Moscow was that big. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's huge. These uh, apartment buildings are massive. Yeah. And like I said, it's just pretty much apartment buildings, apartment buildings, more apartment buildings. Hey, Stormquake, how's it going? What's your airspeed? Uh, airspeed? Uh, good question. Because normally I've got uh, destination with the with the airspeed, but oh. I've got that 108 right now. 108. Uh, 126. Okay, let me speed up a little bit. I can go. I can go to 108 actually. No, no, I'll speed up. Okay. Well, how about we'll go for 112? 112, okay. And actually, with the song playing now on the stream, this is the, uh, the national uh, national anthem, Russian national anthem. Oh, that's funny. Southwest Tuber, that's me, and uh, until getting my history lesson with popcorn. <laughs> Man, I love the game. I, uh, I've been playing it since uh, it came out on Xbox Series X. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's pretty fun. <laughs> U.S. Uh, U.S. anthem? No, it's the uh, the Russian anthem right now. What I'll do is I'll I'll go down to uh, 105 for now until you catch up. Okay, that works. I'm really not that far behind. No. It, it looks like you're a lot further. I see both but, your way. But yeah, yeah uh, I can see you. So for people watching the stream, this is not all Jurisweziki design doing all these buildings. It's the, the landmarks more so downtown, but there's also landmarks around the uh, around the city. And it's the way that it, the city structured is sort of like Paris, where you've got uh, like in Paris, it's uh, the uh, arrondissement. So like uh, it's like in a circular shape, and the same thing here. It's like uh, you've got these different districts, but the roads around it pretty much circles around the city. So you're streaming and doing Discord at the same time. Yep. Yeah, so it picks up our chat from Discord right into the stream. Okay. So. Well, I'm glad I hopped on so you have somebody to fly with. Hey Joe, cool flight. Hey, um, 
so we'll we'll be going by the uh, the Kremlin and uh, uh, Red Square later on. But uh, it, so Vladimir Putin, like you'll say Putin, like P U T I N, but in French we say uh, uh, Putin. But Putin in uh, in Quebec, Putin is uh, fries with gravy and uh, cheese curds. So actually, the, the cheese curds onto the fries, and then the gravy, hot gravy over it, and then it all melts together. So we call him Putin, but in French, because if we were to to. But I think it's because in France they do the same thing, and it's just a better uh, translation of the Russian uh, over. And uh, but if you said uh, uh, the way that it's spelt out, uh, P U T I N, in French, it's uh, it's not a nice word. <laughs> so so instead of calling. The president of uh, Russia, a whore, we'll call him uh, Putin instead. Gravy and fries <laughs> and cheese, yeah. <laughs> Wanted to fly it with you, but uh, life, yeah, <laughs> no problem, Joe. Oh, yeah, I've been to Canada. This is, this is not Canada, <laughs> Joe. <laughs> We're in Russia. He's not a nice guy, so whatever. <laughs> uh, and on the uh, little nav maps, like, if I could read Russian, I'd be able to tell you some extra stuff. Like, there's, like, a park around here, but I can't even read the... Like, it's all in Russian. <laughs> I wonder... Because I know you can you can add uh, Google Maps to it, but but I've never done that before. So we're we're just making our way up to uh, Shem. Uh, this is. Sheremet, uh, Yevo, which uh, the it's the big international airport. So we'll go down. And we'll just do a touch and go. So it's a pretty big airport. Yeah, yeah, it's it's massive. Because there is uh, three strips. You've got the two, like the the left. Well, actually, yeah, left and center, and then way to the right is the right one. Uh, we'll go back in the back into the cockpit. We'll uh, bring this thing down for. Some of these apartment buildings look like they're 25, 30 stories high. Yeah. If not more. Yeah. Hey, BB, how's it going? BB7. Which runway are you uh, landing, uh, do touching going on? Uh, center. You want to go left? Uh, no, we'll go center. Okay, all right. No, I was. It, it, it's like pretty much side by side. Uh, BB five, uh, BB seven. Do you know uh, Johnny five? Yeah, I was a little too. Uh, too fast to pull out the flaps, but 
nobody's counting on this flight. It, it's it's not as bad as leaving your APU and APU bleed on. <laughs> uh, I did that the other day and uh, I was coming into uh, Dubai in, uh, in the A320 and the uh, engine failure. I didn't know why and I don't have like the uh, failures on so I'm like what's going on? And then taking a look at stuff, I looked up and I saw APU bleed and APU was still on. Actually, this is, uh... This is a very, ni very nice airport. Dreswaki did it. So they're... Chermetievo is actually um, separate from the uh, Moscow landmarks. Moscow landmarks, they have uh, like an enhancement for uh, five or six of the airports in the area, and they add like a whole bunch of helipads, including at the uh, at the Kremlin. Well, it's, it's quite nice. But yeah, I was here uh, last week doing a flight from Krakow, Poland, to uh, Moscow, and then to uh, Warsaw, and I think... I feel where I'm from, Poland. Okay. So, yeah, I did that uh, last... last Friday, I think, or... yeah, last Friday. And I think I did it in the uh, CRJ 700. Uh, what server? Uh, East uh, East USA. I wonder if Air Stud still wants me to get the F-14. Uh, yeah, James, <laughs> he definitely wants me to get the F-14 for tomorrow. Uh, not tomorrow night, although he wishes that it was tomorrow night. But uh, Monday night, he wants you in the F-14. But I do have to uh, download the uh, the F-22 Raptor so that if anyone shows up in the Raptor, I don't I don't get like a a Boeing or an Airbus in my face. Uh, San Jose Sharks game was uh, delayed. Seven players and head coach are on the COVID list. Had to bring up two guys from the minors. Wow. Should put uh, V speed. Uh, like, they must have called these guys just hours. Yeah. So Joe, that that's that's what happens. Uh, like, I've seen it with goalies. Like. They literally call in like the third goalie to come in, or it happened with uh, Toronto and the Hurricanes. The uh, Hurricane goalie was was out. Second one was out. So the Zamboni drivers, the emergency one, and they only get like paid five hundred bucks or something for the night. And so he went in and he actually did a, a great job. This was a couple of years ago. And then uh, they made a big uh, thing about it afterwards. I'm actually going to change my time because it's, it's quite bright to see. There we go. So we're, we're, right now we're going towards the, uh, the tallest tower in Europe. This is, what's it called? 
Ostankino Tower, the tallest freestanding structure in Europe, and the eighth tallest in the world. We'll get there in uh, just a couple of minutes here. It's actually on. If you see uh, Twiz, Twiz TD Cigarette, he's like, his name tag is just above that tower. And I'm uh, just about to go over a, uh, a stadium, uh, football stadium. Not, not American football, but uh, real football, where you actually use your foot. I'm not, and I'm not sure which team, but when I appear down here, uh, is it like Spartan? I feel like that it's a Russian team, obviously Moscow. Where is the city? It's in uh, in Russia, uh, Moscow. I think this is part of seven. Yeah, so this right here, this is part of the uh, Seven Sisters. Hotel Ukraina is the tallest hotel in Europe and one of the tallest hotels in the world. It's massive. Yeah. And then, like, right beside it, it's a bunch of, a, of like, apartment buildings, but it almost looks like, like, Coliseum uh, Stadium kind of seating, just the way, like, they, they're all stacked up. But it's, it's all apartment buildings. And I think this might be a, an ice rink. And this, this is a landmark also, uh, not exactly sure. So now we're going over towards the uh, Ostankino uh, Tower. Yeah, it, 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 this city is massive. So actually this uh, will light up at nighttime. We play American football in America. <laughs> Airstead still wants you to get the F-14. 24th largest metropolitan area in the world. Wow. Uh, let's uh, bring... Bring the time back now. Yep, 
Yeah, by area, okay. 24th largest. I bet you Mexico must be larger. Because Mexico is, is massive too. I think Mexico has like 19 or 21 million. Yeah. Mexico City, that is. Or maybe in, uh, in India. Like uh, Mumbai or... Uh, right. But I would almost say they have more condensed population. Like India is like smaller than Canada. <laughs> they got over a billion. In Canada, we've got, uh, what, 35, 40 million now? I'm glad I don't have to plan the uh, infrastructure for all this. Oh, I know, yeah. And we, we should be coming up to, yeah, here's the main station. Main train station for, uh, for Moscow. Which is yeah. like the amount of, uh, amount of trains. And we're, yeah, we're also getting close to, uh, close to the Kremlin. And then all these buildings over here, I think, uh, have been redone. It looked like, like a photogrammetry of some sort. Because they, the tops all look shiny. So I'm, I think it's uh, the uh, Drizwiki design uh, landmarks. If you have your your POIs on, you'll you'll see the Cathedral of Christ the Savior. That's right right by the uh, by the river. Oh, and while we're at it, are we over to Kremlin? Right? Yeah, we're just about to go over to Kremlin. What I'll do is I'll uh, take it off, and I'll uh, I'll just circle around, come down a little lower. <laughs> Try selling in the street. Uh, do you think a solo will implement uh, trains animation? Uh, yeah, uh, I think it's uh, planned for uh, 2023. Uh, helicopters, helicopters aren't like they're coming next year, but it's like the end of next year, which by the time the end of next year comes around, it'll probably be 2023 for helicopters also. But we've got like with like full support. We'll have the uh, Volcopter, uh, what, 18 days, 19 days? So that, that'll be nice, but uh, like, it won't be the same thing as an actual like regular helicopter. It's this prototype thing. Uh, let's go on the outside. Oh uh, yeah, I can't use that button. So you got the uh, Kremlin and the uh, and the red, uh, red is square. The, is the uh, Kremlin the one with the gold top? Uh, good question. Uh, there's a building over here with a really uh, fancy glow gold top by the river. Yeah. Because uh, the, the Kremlin, I'm not sure what you would see in the default. Uh, but it's got a bunch of like, uh, it's got a red, uh, wall around it. Okay. 
yeah, you, you won't you won't see that, but you might see it in the ground, uh, like from the satellite to imagery. Mm -hmm. But uh, and it doesn't have a, a POI marker on it. But there is the, uh, the oh yeah, the gold dome. That's the uh, Cathedral of uh, Christ the Savior, which uh. has a uh, POI marker on it. If you got those turned on. No, no, I have those turned on. That's why I don't see it. Got, uh, Scoopus and, uh, Mr. Proto. Welcome aboard. Hello, hello. How's it hey, going? Hey. Was that Mr. Proto or, uh, or Scoopus? This is Scoopist. Okay, okay. It's because I'm not looking at Discord, so I, <laughs> I, I can't. I know someone's talking, but uh, I can see in the sim. Right. So, going to, uh, going to move on down towards the downtown. I don't know if this is another part of the Seven Sisters, but there's a. Uh, Another white uh, hotel. It looks like pretty much the other, uh, uh, so the other one. Yeah, Mr. Five five. <laughs> that uh, Mr. Pro. Yeah. How's it going? Uh, doing all right, man. Just been following me around. Yeah. What was it the other day? You were trying to you were trying to find me and you couldn't find me. I was like, oh, I'm yeah. on I'm on uh, Vatsim. <laughs> So this is the uh, financial district. Yeah, I'd say so. It is. Yeah. Looks awesome in VR. Oh, uh, yeah. And then there's this building. It almost looks like a, like a cruise ship. Maybe it's uh, to cruise Neff. This is a monument. Uh, I think it's S Stalin. Sh trying to see if I can uh, see anything on the on the little nav maps, but it's almost like a uh, like a sundial. Nineteen forty one to nineteen forty five. So yeah, uh, a, a war memorial. What do you think caused the melted appearance with the uh, with the buildings with the uh, some of those downtown buildings with the uh, Drozoki uh, design landmarks? I think uh, I I haven't seen any yet, but then again, I just logged in because I I did see there was an area with the uh, with the landmark pack that the tops looked a lot shinier than some of the others. And I think they probably use some kind of uh, photogrammetry to, to make the buildings. 
Well, I got mine set to nighttime. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, because it is nighttime right now. Yeah, the nighttime scenery looks real good. Do you, do you have uh, Drozwiki? This, this was, yeah, I did, but this is photo real, right? Was Moscow one of the cities? I'm I'm not uh, not exactly sure because the some of the like these tenements uh, apartment buildings they you know they they don't look like photogrammetry because if you look at photogrammetry in New York City it's very like dark looking like it looks like uh, Gotham City but here it doesn't look like that. And uh, we've got a st another stadium over here. And then you got the uh, Moscow State University. Okay, let's see, I'm daytime and clear skies. Yeah, it looks really good. Yeah. But boy, am I getting some weird pixelation shading sparkling in the distance. I, I've i seen that with uh, some like third party uh, airports where there will be uh, a patch of like fluorescent like pink purple and I th and that's only been since uh, sim update 6 and uh, with air pilot uh, we were both in the F-14 and I, I could see his F-14 but at a certain distance it was fine but then if I got any closer or I, I got further away then he uh, automatically just turned into like purple it's just weird Okay. I, I'm not sure about it. Ah. Okay, I had anti-aliasing turned off. That fixed my uh, problem. Okay. That's good. Yeah, I put it on the TAA. Let's see, it only cost me one frame per second. <laughs> I'm getting uh, 28 to 30. Okay. I got everything on high. <laughs> in VR and my distance is set at 100 nice uh y yes air stud I, I did call you air pilot rather than air stud <laughs> what, uh, what uh VR headset are you running uh I've got the uh G2 reverb I also have a quest 2 but I prefer the reverb it does. People talk about it. They like it. I can only imagine it's probably super hard playing this game. <laughs> be hard. Not at all. I probably wouldn't be playing unless it was in VR because it gives you that real world feeling instead of the pancake mode, just looking at monitors. Do you guys have like 3090s or 3080s? 3070 for me. Well, you got the 1070. Uh, it'll do it. I did it with a 1050. I had to put my settings on low, but it still did it. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to find those cards right now. Yeah, yeah very hard. Air studs said uh, what he had. I sold some guns to get it. <laughs> here, here. Some safe queens in the back of my safe that I wasn't using. I, I sold a 44 mag, uh, Ruger Red Hawk, and a Ruger 44 mag carbine. 
Uh, yeah, I've got a tw tw 2080 Ti, but I think next next one will be like probably a, a 4090 or something or a 5090. Yeah. I'll That's just what wait. I'm looking for. Yeah, me too. I think they are slated third or fourth quarter of 2022. I'm just hoping they don't take 500 watts to uh, power. <laughs> Well, just another hundred bucks for a uh, 750 power supply. Right. Uh, I'm, I'm running a, a, a Ryzen 7 5800X. Yeah, I, I, I had that great motherboard, processor, memory, and video card. I'm hoping GX12 makes a pretty big difference. If it's like 10 15 percent that's nice well yeah 10 percent uh that'll give you about you know two to three frames per second hopefully yeah yeah uh, southwest uh tuber uh, try that uh that link should work for the discord But yeah, Man, the servers must be messed up because I'm getting connectivity saying I don't have the bandwidth and I've got 400 MIPS. Yeah, I'm I'm not having any issue with the... Um, but the other day I was doing some uh, 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 island hopping in the, in the Caribbean. And once I got to Turks and Caicos, like halfway through my, my stream, all of a sudden things just got choppy and then the ctd so then uh i had like three or four of them in a row i was like okay calling that uh calling it quits there oh no it was um other day i was in uh scathos doing like a a preview stream and once i got a, i was coming in from vienna once i crossed in the, from north macedonia into um Greece, frame rate went down to like 10. So then I get to the airport, I'm trying to land with that 10 frames per second, and it ain't going so good. So then nah, I, at all. I, I got out, but just getting out and then uh, like just restarting the, from the world map, it, it was fine. I, like I didn't have to turn it off or anything like that. You got me on that one. Maybe, uh, loading scenery or something i don't know yeah just, just... yeah because i i i stream all of my um like all the data is streamed i don't have a a cache but let's see back in the cockpit going down hey, hey twisted cigarette i like your uh, handle there yeah because I, I saw his handle, but I didn't. I was like, read it. I wasn't reading it like that because I was like, what? What, what, what does it mean? But it's, uh, yeah, twisted cigarette. 420, man. <laughs> Twist is uh, my stream name. Oh, sweet. that pretty well I'd say that's pretty unique uh, it was back when I was in grade school <laughs> that makes it even better <laughs> AI fly sim I remember in grade school in Arizona the kids were huffing the Freon out of the air conditioners to all the school buildings <laughs> guys ever get rid of uh, one of your nicer graphics cards, hit me up. I'd buy it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, tell your brother, uh, hey, uh, I'll, I'll buy another computer from you for, for 200 <laughs> Does it have a 3090 in it? <laughs> yeah, he got, he got that nice uh, graphics card. I guess uh, Micro Center only had like two of them. He bought one. He was just like, 
well, I'm just going to build this newer badass PC. And it was right at Christmas time last year. And I was like, help your brother out. Because I used to game on PC years ago. And um, I talked him down 200 bucks. And he's like, whatever. He's like, oh, basically just giving it to me. <laughs> yeah. But now it's like I'll never go back to Xbox. I only put on, I use Xbox for like Netflix. That's it. Yeah. Well, because I, I was always a PlayStation. And I haven't touched the PlayStation maybe uh, two years. Just. Uh, uh, everything's uh, PC gaming now. And then, then my wife comes home with like, uh, I don't know, someone gave her a DVD to watch. Like, <laughs> what are you going to use that DVD with? <laughs> the only thing we've got is the PlayStation that can actually uh, play a DVD. Because like, my my PC, my laptop, there's no... Uh, d no uh, Blu-ray or DVD drive. Well, I just check Amazon. You can get a new system with a i9 10,000, whatever it is, 32 megs of memory with a 3090 and a two terabyte hard drive for four grand. And yeah. the cards themselves are going for about from 34 to 3,800. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not trying to spend that much. Yeah, because that's roughly what I spent in the US on mine, but mine's a, a twenty eighty. And at at the when I got it built, I got it built at the with thirty two uh, gigs of RAM. But then I added another 32 afterwards. Overkill, unless you're doing graphics work. Uh, well, yeah, I've I've got uh, like I do a uh, Adobe stuff, uh, Premiere. Yeah, then for, you need that. Yeah. But, hey, th thanks for uh, hosting this, man. Yeah, no, no problem. That uh, yeah, was a uh, nice little flight. Uh, but we'll be back. Uh, on uh, on Monday nights, we've got uh, Military Hops 2, uh, Central Canada. So we're going to be, uh, uh, Airstead and I will be in the F-14. But you can show up F-14. There's a free F-22 Raptor. Uh, That's F actually pretty decent. Yeah. And, and, uh, <laughs> I'm going to, I, I got to download that so that I can see a F-22 rather than a Airbus or Boeing <laughs> shoving right. itself in my face on the stream. <laughs> but I, I, I can't help it with the uh, F-15. I'm, I'm not going to get the F-15, but uh, I, I've seen some guys fly an F-15. But we'll yeah. be doing that same time on uh, on Monday night. Okay, cool. Well, that was, uh, you know, that's nice scenery. I'll have to fly over Moscow again and do that. Yeah, yeah. The um, well, because I I did a uh, a stream last Friday, went from uh, Warsaw or Krakow to Moscow, and then to Warsaw. That that was nice. Like the Drzewiecki, they do a great job. And if you like seeing like the interior of an air airport, they've got so much details that they put in. It's like. Sometimes you'd think it's it's overkill, but it, it doesn't suck up your your graphics. And a lot of the guys, the, a lot of the developers that are adding more and more interiors, they make it in a way so that uh, you you see it, but when you're far enough, like it doesn't even load into the uh, uh, into the sim. Yeah, so you don't get a frame rate hit. That yeah, the big one. Yeah. Well, yeah, thanks, guys, uh, and thanks, everyone, in the stream. And uh, Hairstead's like, yay, you finally promoted the Monday stream. Congrats. Okay, oh. man, see ya.
Yeah, I don't want to do it too early. Yeah, have a good night, guys.